guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel, and it's a long time no see. What turned into a two-week um, break ended up being more like, I have no idea, three, four months? So, sorry, but I am back, and I have accumulated a ton of trash, and so we're going to bust through this, because um, there's kind of a lot of stuff in here, and I don't really even remember what is in here. So anyway, let's do this. Um, the first things that I want to get to are the things that um, I actually was part of a, I don't even remember what it's called now, uh, finish six before the spring or clean six before spring, something like that. And <coughs> The really sad thing about this is, is that I had five products and I actually finished all five products by the deadline. However, I kind of quit filming so I didn't get to tell you guys. So anyway, I did finish them and they're in my empties bucket here. So let's go ahead and do this. The first thing is the Remmel Stay Matte um, Liquid Mousse Foundation in True Ivory. Um, and I did finish this up. Oh, this stuff is super, super, super full coverage. I absolutely love it for the winter. However, I will not be repurchasing it because Remmel is not cruelty free. So, um, but you, uh, really full coverage on that sucker right there. Um, the next thing was the Revlon Color Stay Aqua Mineral Finishing Powder. Um, I don't even know, I'm not really even going to talk to you guys about this because this was so stinking old, they actually don't make this anymore. So, moving on. Um, I have the, um, the It's, the Eyes, It's Potent Eye Cream by Benefit. And that's what it looks like there. And it was just like this little sample thing here. Um, I really did like this. Um, it was a brightening eye cream and... Uh, I mean, I went through the whole thing, and I don't know that it was, like, super brightening or anything like that, but I really did like the eye cream, um, but again, it's Benefit and mm, not cruelty free. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did finish the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. Okay, um, you guys, I absolutely love this. I, I love it. I absolutely love this stuff, and when they first came out with this, I thought, Oh my gosh, you know, the best thing would be if they came out with colors. Well, guess what? They did come out with colors. So that's um, exciting for people other than me because Benefit's not cruelty-free. But I really, really, really love this stuff, and I did not have a single problem taking it off. Again, I use the SW Basics um, eye makeup remover, and no problems whatsoever getting this sucker off. And um, yes, I do love it a lot. Um, the last thing was the Benefit Stay Don't Stray, and this is what's in um, medium light. And basically, it's a primer for like whatever you want primed, whatever you want to stay put. So if you've got a little spot of something you want to conceal, put a little bit of this on. This did have color to it, so that was kind of nice. And like this one was the light medium, so it was perfect. Um, dark circles. Um, spots, um, using it as a eyelid primer. I mean, basically this thing runs the whole gamut and I truly enjoyed this a lot. But again, like I said, benefit. Um, not so fantastic. Okay, I did use the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I used that up. Um, and again, I do like this one quite a bit. It is not my all-time favorite, but this probably runs in a good close second to for dry shampoo so I really like that what I did not like under any circumstances ish gross no don't do it was the suave professionals dry shampoo spray okay uh, this one right here it's like yellow ish kind of um, no no, 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 no. Uh, first of all, the smell is horrendous. It's like grapefruit, which I don't mind the smell of grapefruit. I actually kind of like it. However, it was like a chemically grapefruit smell and it was just really awful. It didn't do 
anything. It just had this worst white cast you could ever imagine on it. And actually, I was at Target the other day and this girl was picking it up and I, I literally, I had to stop her. I had to say, no, 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 no. No, she she looked at me like I was completely insane. I'd lost my mind. Who are you to tell me I shouldn't buy this? But this is, ugh, no, moving on. It's terrible. Um, I did the Lemon Pomegranate Cream Fragrance from Bath & Body Works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely love this stuff, and I actually am really sad that it is gone. I absolutely love it. I don't... I know a lot of you guys aren't like lemon scent lovers, but I really don't think that the lemon scent was really, I mean, it was there, but it really wasn't the main scent. So um, definitely give that one a sniff if you are uh, into, you know, body sprays. Um, I did finish the fragrance by Victoria's Secrets. This is pretty much the one and only um, perfume, I guess, that I purchase. Um, I absolutely love it. It smells very clean, just like clean, like soap, water, clean. That's what I like. Um, and I thought it used to be called Body, but now they just, it just says the fragrance on it. I get this for Christmas every year, so um, yes. Okay, another total flop in the um, dry shampoo area. Chlor Chloricane? Shampoo. Extra gentle dry shampoo with oat milk. I don't know. Um, I think it was a sample of something that I got somewhere in some kind of box, whatever. Um, <clears throat> this one was cruelty free. I just, um, yeah, I didn't like it. Um, I don't think the smell so much. The smell was kind of almost like a witch hazily, which I don't really know what that was all about, and it just didn't work. Um, it just, it, it didn't work. It didn't work. Another thing that I am completely unimpressed with, really very extremely unimpressed with, was the, I'm gonna butcher this, Bosca? Bosca? Charcoal Pore Minimizing Hydrogel Mask. And um, really, I am loving anything with charcoal in it. So I picked this up to give this a shot. I did Instagram when I had it on. Um, no, it didn't do a darn thing. It was cooling when you put it on, um, but it didn't do anything. It was the most unimpressive product I've ever used. It says minimizing pores, purifies, and refines texture, and I didn't notice any uh, any change in my skin whatsoever. Zero, zilch, nothing. Nothing. Uh, and, and for as cooling as it was, I mean, it wasn't even like de-puffing. <laughs> That's not a word. I don't know. But no, I'm very unimpressed with that. Um, I got this for Christmas, I think. Um, vanilla Bergamot, uh, the Bliss uh, Soapy Suds Body Wash. I use that. Not, definitely not um, a scent that I'm uh, absolutely loving. Okay, um, Beauty Protector, Protect and Refresh Dry Shampoo. I think I kind of like this one. Probably not enough to seek it out and purchase it again, but I did like this one. Did I wash my hair at all when I was gone? I'm not sure that I did. I mean, I went through a lot of dry shampoo. <laughs> so anyway, um, but Beauty Protector, I do tend to like their products. Again, like I said, this was okay. I don't remember there being a weird smell with this one. Yeah, it, there was no like weird smell or anything. Um, so yeah, I, but I, I think why I'm not a huge fan of the dry shampoos that I've tried lately is because I like my dry shampoo to dry, but I also like it to add texture to my hair and these just weren't fitting the bill for me. So, um, okay, some more face products. Um, the Sacred Truth and Love Lettuce from uh, Lush. Every time I go into Lush, I have to get at least one of these, and I think you save like six of them or something, you bring them back, you get the next one free. So I do save those canisters. Okay, um, oh my gosh, this is, there's so much here. Okay, the 
Alme Smart Shade Anti-Aging. I got this in 200. So this is the one that like starts like when you pull it up, squeeze it out, it's white. And then you put it on your skin and it's supposed to like be smart about it. Um, you are no smart. You're no smart. Um, I didn't think it was that smart. But I did kind of enjoy the product. Alme though is horrifically uh, not cruelty free and I will not be um, purchasing that again. Carrie Underwood, you need to get your stuff together and figure it out. Um, the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 205. I went through that. Again, CoverGirl is not cruelty free. Will not be repurchasing it. Um, I don't really have feelings. Negative, positive. I'm very neutral about this. I, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, the, I will say that this was much better than the powder, but I haven't finished the powder yet, so we'll talk about that later. Okay, um, my uh, Get the Last Lash uh, Mascara, and this is by Mally, and it's got the two ends. It's got the really tiny end here to kind of get in there, and then the uh, regular end. Um, I love Mally Mascara. I really do. However, the shelf life on this stuff is not that great. When you first get it, it, it's wonderful, it's perfect. The older that it gets, the more flakes that you will get. So even though I am not able to finish a tube in a timely manner, I do have to get rid of my tubes because they do flake when they get older. So that's, you know, something to keep in mind. Don't hoard too much uh, mascara because it's just not a good idea. Um, the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. You know, I mean, honestly, like, what is this, a dollar? It's great stuff. I really like it. It lasts forever. Um, yeah, definitely a good purchase on that one. Um, okay, Smash, blah, 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 Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I used this. Um, I The thing that I don't like the most about this is this wand is just, I mean, it is, I got big eyeballs, but this thing is just... It's scary. I, I don't really care the, for the applicator. Okay, um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Obviously, I went through all my samples of mascara. I love this stuff. If you've only tried the waterproof kind, do yourself a favor and try this one that is not waterproof because um, this one is definitely the one you want to be trying. Um, okay, um, this is the Alme Intense uh, Liquid Liner, and I used to be obsessed with these, um, but as you can tell, the older that they get, the tip just really wears down. It's like a felt tip, and it doesn't give you, I mean, it kind of is a really thick line, so um, the tip breaks down, and you can't get a good line. Oh, and I've got another one of these. I, again, I really, really like that smell, so i uh, got a few of them. Um, okay, I did um, go through the e.l.f. Mineral, Mineral Face Primer, the purple one. This is the one that's going to give you that silky, smooth, silicone feeling to your face. Um, really, really liked it. And unfortunately, I'm really kind of bummed out because the packaging looks like it's a lot bigger than what you get. And I don't think that this is going to do it justice. But you, honestly, it probably only goes to like here. So the package looks nice and big, but um, there's barely any product in there. But again, I mean, it's like a dollar or something, and it, it really does good face priming stuff. Okay, um, say yes to soothing. Um, no. I've got two of them. No, I don't. Okay, so I've got say yes to soothing. Um, uh, say yes to that brand. Um, I didn't really care for it. It didn't do a very good job of taking off my makeup, and it kind of stung a little bit. So, um, I don't know. This was the cucumber one. And, um, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You shouldn't rely on these to take off your makeup fully anyway. You should be washing your face. Note to self. But anyway, I also did use the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit. I actually kind of really like these things. Um, and again, I don't have an aversion to grapefruit smell. I did like the way it smelled. That, sh that dry shampoo was just way over the top, and I couldn't handle it. It was just terrible. 
um, crisp morning air hand cream. This smell was amazing from Bath and Body Works. Um, but I think this was a very limited edition one, so, uh, good luck finding that. Okay, um, oh look, I went through some hand sanitizer, um, oh, when I said I w didn't get through the, here it is, here it is, I finished the, uh, face powder. This was the Ready, Set, Gorgeous, um, cover girl. I will say, okay, so I did the 205 in the, in the, that and I did the 115 over 120 in the powder and <laughs> you guys I don't know um this was darker than this by far by like a lot so if you are gonna purchase it I don't know go make sure you go light I mean I went like way light and it was still way dark but anyway um I did use that up what is this? Oh, um, some kind of lip gloss. Don't know who this is from because there's absolutely no, oh, I don't have a clue. It's called Kaleidoscope. It might be a steel, steel -a thing, but I don't know. Anyway, I've got 800 of those laying around and so I try to. Okay, the biggest bummer, 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 I got this. My Sonia Dakar um, Natural Sphere Flash Facial. I got this in like my Fab Fit 5, something like that. Okay, the retail value on this, you guys, is $100. I put this on my face and my face wanted to fall off. It burned, 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 burned. It was horrible. It was terrible. It stung my eyes. It burned my skin. I felt like my face was on fire. I used it one time and it's a hundred dollar retail value and it is going directly into the trash. I am so disappointed. I don't know why anyone would use this. Um, it was horrible. It was horrible and it smelled horrible and it was just it was a terrible experience really to be completely honest um the number seven uh protect and perfect beard beauty serum i really did enjoy this um i do like face serums and this was a really nice one and i think i got that from peachy gem in one of our swaps so i went through a couple other um maybelline um turbo volume express it's okay. Remmel Max Volume Lash, not impressed, um, but I did go through those. I did finally finish the Hula from Benefit, the bronzing. This is just the little sample thing, and this thing lasted me for absolutely ever, and I think if I probably, yeah, if I dug around in there, I could definitely get a few more out, but you know what? That's pan, and that counts, and we're moving on. Um, Two uh, Wet n Wild thing, or no, this is Maybelline, and this is the Luminous Nights, and I honestly, this is called Rose Lights, and I'm pretty sure that this one is unavailable, which is a good thing, because this was just, this is a terrible quad. It's um, Rose Lights, it's 90Q, and again, it's from Maybelline. I got it on clearance, so who knows how old it was when I actually picked it up. The pigmentation is horrible, the blending, it, it just, just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. I have quads from them, and I do not mind them. That one is um, was a complete and utter fail. Um, Hot Hollywood Limited Edition by Wet n Wild. And let me open this up for you guys. And I am just, I, okay, this is Limited Edition. If, can you, okay, you guys, seriously, I never hit pan on eyeshadows ever. And I've hit pan on one, two, and a little bit there on that third one there. This, if they ever bring it back, hot Hollywood. You need this in your life. This is amazing. Um, literally, this was the only thing I wore for like the longest time, clearly, because it's empty. Um, I've never been able to find it. They've got ones that are close, but not quite it hot Hollywood please wet and wild bring this one back this is amazing I love it and swap out like this one for this one put this color you know in the big here because I needed more of this one for sure this color was downright beautiful and I absolutely loved it 
Oh yeah, I think these are those Stila like things. I'm trying to get rid of everything that's not my cruelty free. So I'm trying to bust through all that kind of stuff. Oh, this was hor horrible. Um, plush drama from Ulta, the mascara. Don't even bother, people. Don't even bother. Um, I am so sad because I am out of my Glamour dolls, my kitty kisses, and this was just the clear one. Um, so I've started on the other ones, and um, don't worry, I will be 150% repurchasing these. I love them. They are the best, and they are cheapo. Okay, uh, just a few more things here. What is this? <coughs> oh, this is the Ah uh, Naturals, and this was a um, concealer. And again, I think I got this in some type of sample box of some sort. And this was in beige, beige, and again, it's from the company All Naturals. And this stuff was pretty bomb. I really liked it. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to try to repurchase it. I will see what I can do about it. I don't know the price on it, anything, but I did really like this little sucker here. Um, all natural tinted. This is a lip gloss and there's no way that I finished this. Oh, that's why I didn't finish it. And this is all natural. Well, this one was AU natural. So it's a totally different company. The smell of this lip tint ish. I couldn't even stand it. I think I tried it once and it's just, it was so bad. Yeah. I mean, the color isn't whatever, but it smelled really bad. You guys know that I have a aversion to those all natural smells. This one broke my heart just a little bit, but it is okay because I went and bought the full size. I did finish um, Lovecraft from Kat Von D, my little sample-y thing that um, I got on the, the studded, the lip kiss, the holiday packaging, whatever. Lovecraft is a must. Lovecraft, I will say it again. They usually sell out of this one really quick, so if you can get, if you find it, if it is in stores, online, you pick it up, okay? Um, I have um, stocked up on quite a few of these, actually. I think I have at least three tubes of this because I love it so much. So anyway, okay, that's my empties, guys. I am sorry I know this video was kind of long, but I had a lot of empties, and I miss you all, and I will be back, um, you know, more on a regular basis. We'll talk about that later. All right, guys, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.